everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here back in our video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, welcome everyone. We have been posting a few videos here and I hope you've been enjoying them. Um, this is another tutorial today on the top bar. Now, a lot of people have been requesting this top bar UI, so I do hope you do enjoy this video. Um, and I hope you hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. Um, it means so much to me, everybody, and we are almost at uh you know like 25,000 subscribers which is amazing and i hope we get up to like 50,000 by the end of the summer or something um and also join the discord because it's in the description and we're almost at 2,000 members and we do help out everyone there now um if you are wondering how you do this so uh, we are going to be uh making a top bar uh button right here now is some of you guys may know what this is some of you guys may not know what this is but this is a way of disabling um, your uh, GUIs in a simple manner um, and what I mean by that is of course so this is a screen GUI this is the um, like starter player user interface GUIs right here um, and if I click this button what it's gonna do is it's gonna literally close everything for me now um, people have been wanting this because you know this is great in vibe games and dance games and it basically literally uh, disables and enables GUIs and you don't even have to worry about it so um, that's what's really nice about this now um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to configure this and how to use it, so let's get straight into this. Alright, so you're going to go to the description and you're just going to click this link right here, and you're going to be able to claim this however you want. You can click this or whatever, and it should say item owned, or you can download it. It's to your liking, and um, this is going to basically allow you to get the model, and we're going to be putting this in a Roblox studio. So um, you're going to go to your toolbox, just go to your inventory right here. Sorry, you guys, no way, uh, webcam today, but um, you know, it's all right. So you're going to click this. Now, um, I already have mine in here, so I'll just get rid of it real quick. So you're going to click your model. It should be this, the first top one on the left because uh, you just got it. And you should have a folder like this. So you're just able to ungroup it to wherever you want. So replicate storage and then starter player script. So we're going to go in here and right there. So that's about it. It is literally done. Like it is set up for you. Now, some of you guys have no idea what this is. So I'm going to explain it real quick. Now, this is a top bar um, script. Now, this is not made by me. This is made by someone else. I kind of forgot. I have to look at that. But it'll be in the description. And um, you, uh, what I did is I made the script for you. Now, this is the main script. Now, some of you guys already have top, bar top bars, and if you do, um, quickly, all you have to do really is um, copy and paste this into the other one. Now, you can delete this one right here, but just copy and paste um, all of this up to icon and to your other script, and you will have it ready for you. So, I'm going to explain this real quick. So this is the icon, and we're requiring the um, module right here in replicated storage. We're getting the starter GUI, which is just Belair's GUI. We're getting um, the player's GUI, which is the player GUI. Sorry, starter GUI is like you know what the user stuff is, and then the UIP, which is the uh, UIS. Sorry, which is the user input service. So we're creating a new icon, and this is by using the module. What this does is it basically creates something in the top bar up here. And um, we're going to be setting it to the right because we want it all the way on the right. We're going to set the key code to P. I just chose P. You can change this to anything. As you can tell, it will just pop up right here. So feel free to mess with that. Then there's these labels. So disable UI, enable UI, whatever like that. Now, there was a way, and you can do it. You could do like set um, image, and then you could do, um, you know, the number, da 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 da. And then you could go uh, deselect it um, like this. Um, now, oh, sorry, I didn't even do a comma. So that's how it would look if you did an image. And what that would do is it would have the label and also the image, and you could change it to your liking. But um, feel free to just watch the old videos about that. It explains more. Um, and then you have set property, which is just um, to basically double check. Um, does this deselect when other icons are selected, which is set to false? Now, you can select this to true. So what this means is basically if any of the top bars are open, um, will it close them? And uh, you can set that to true, basically. So the main script part right here, it is honestly really simple and what I'm going to show you is how you can customize it so what we're doing is when they select it we are setting all of the core GUIs it's in saying the chat the messages the player G, like leaderboard we're saying it all to false um, and then what we're doing is we're creating a for loop which I'm going to talk about in another video on the scripting series um, we are going inside of the player GUI which is basically going to be the players and we're going to be doing getting our player right here we're going inside of that GUI and we're going to check if we're gonna get all the children okay so basically all in the player GUI it's let me just any of these screen GUIs right here and we're basically gonna check if V is a screen GUI so if it is a screen GUI then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check for top bar plus and what we're gonna do because we don't want to disable top bar plus or else we won't be able to um, switch it back 
So if it's top bar plus, then we're going to set the enable to true. So we're just making sure that it does not turn off. Like it doesn't, um, you know, enabled right here basically shows it or not. So that's what we're doing. So I can kind of show you if you just click frame off like that. That's basically what we're doing. Um, now, then if it's not named top bar plus, then it's going to be set to false. So as you can tell, this is screen GUI. So it was just going to be set to false. It's going to be set to false either way. Now, um, then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting the modal enable to false. Now, when they basically deselect it, we're going to be setting everything back to true, all the screen drives back to true, and, you know, the modal enabled to true. So, it's honestly really simple. That is it for this tutorial, but if you want to make sure that you don't disable another GUI, like if there's something you have that you want to make sure you don't disable, you can put an else if right here, and then you just put the name of GUI, you know, whatever, name of your GUI, and then then and then you go v.enabled equals true. So, that's about it, pretty much. Um... Don't even mess with the code, to be honest. Um, it's really up to your liking, but that's it. It's super simple, um, easy to configure, and, you know, everything like that. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, feel free to comment, subscribe, like, and share. And, um, yeah, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.